Did you know Windows 11 is quietly sending a ton of your data to the cloud? Not just files, your settings, preferences, even activity logs. Today, I'm going to show you exactly what's being uploaded, where to find it, and how to take full control so your data stays private. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about OneDrive, the most obvious cloud sync feature. Open Settings, go to Accounts, and then Windows Backup. Here you can see what's syncing to the cloud and decide what stays on your PC. 1. Folders. Desktop, Documents, Pictures. Anything here goes straight to the cloud. 2. Apps, just your app list, not the apps themselves. 3. Settings. We'll cover this next. To check for yourself, open File Explorer, click OneDrive, and look for the cloud icon on your folders. To stop a folder from syncing, go back to Windows Backup and simply toggle off the ones you don't want in the cloud. That's all you need to do. OneDrive Backup is now turned off. Now, let's dive into Settings Sync. This is where it gets interesting. Go to Settings, then Accounts, then Windows Backup, or go to Settings Accounts. Sync your settings. When it's on, here's what gets uploaded to Microsoft's servers. Passwords. Wi-Fi and Edge website credentials. Language preferences. Keyboard layouts and display language accessibility settings. Like narrator and magnifier. Other Windows settings. File Explorer preferences, mouse settings, notifications, and more. You can toggle each category individually. If you want to keep everything local, just turn off sync settings at the top. Beyond OneDrive and Settings Sync, your Microsoft account itself syncs additional data. Go to Settings, then Accounts, then your Microsoft account, and click Manage My Microsoft Account to open the web portal. In the Privacy section of your Microsoft account, you can see Activity History. If enabled, this includes app and service usage, browsing history from Edge, and search queries diagnostic data, system performance and usage information. Location data, if location services are enabled app permissions. What apps have access to your camera, microphone, and more. You can download a copy of all this data or delete it from the privacy dashboard. There are a few less obvious places where cloud sync happens. First, clipboard history. Go to settings, then system, then clipboard. If sync across devices is turned on, your copied items are uploaded to the cloud. You can turn this off or clear your clipboard history anytime. Next, Timeline and Activity History. Even though Microsoft removed Timeline, Activity History can still be collected. To disable it, go to Settings, then Privacy and Security, and select Activity History. Finally, Xbox and Gaming. Under Settings, then Gaming, Check Game Bar and Captures. These may sync your game clips and screenshots to Xbox Cloud Storage if you're signed into Xbox services. Turn off any auto-upload or sync options so your game clips and screenshots stay on your PC only. Here are my recommended privacy-focused settings. That's everything Windows 11 syncs to the cloud and how to control it. The key is understanding what's being uploaded so you can make informed decisions about your privacy and convenience balance. If you want more Windows 11 privacy and optimization guides, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Drop a comment if you have questions about any of these settings. See you in the next one.